Welcome back to the video. I'm your tech guy Wayne and today I want to show you how to set up your Samsung Galaxy Watch FE with any Android phone. It doesn't have to be a Samsung phone. It can be any Android phone as long as you follow these steps. OK, so the first thing is you'll need to download the Galaxy wearable app. This is a free app that you can find in the Play Store. Go to the Play Store, search for Galaxy wearable app and download it. And then we're going to open it up. Now, if your watch already is showing something on the screen, you're good to go. However, if you if your screen is blank, you're going to hold down on the button that has the little orange outline. Hold down for one second to turn it on or until you feel it vibrate. And when it's on, it's going to show like a little combination. Right now it says G-A-M-M. -M, and we're going to use that when it's time to pair it. OK, so. Now we're going to go, we're in the app here. We're going to hit start and it's already found the watch here. Galaxy watch FE and notice the GAMM is matching. So that's how we know it's the correct one. And it's going to show a code. We want to hit check on the watch and pair on the watch or excuse me on the phone. Make sure on your phone you do have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth turned on. That will help the process move a little bit smoother. Now we're going to sign in. You definitely if you don't have a Samsung account, don't worry. It's free to sign up for one. And this is what is going to help back up all your data and it's going to help you have the most seamless experience as possible. So make sure you sign in to your Samsung account or you create one. I already have one on this phone. It's this email. So I'm just going to hit continue. And once again, continue to link the watch with that account. Now, next, I do need to check some terms and conditions. And so I'm going to check the boxes for these. This one is checked by default, but if you notice, it's optional. I normally don't check any of the options that are optional, so I'm going to uncheck those two. Hit continue. And now it will begin the process of linking the watch to your Samsung account and linking it to your phone. OK, next, you'll need to link your Google account with your watch and I already have a Google account on the phone. So it's asked me, do I want to link that account? I'm going to say yes. Continue. It will ask you to put in your password just to verify you are the account holder. Just a few more questions here asking if it can send uh, usage and diagnostic reports to Google and your location. I normally like to uncheck these and hit. I agree. It's going to ask you about some apps that are going to come stock on the watch which are these. And if you want to add these additional apps, a lot of them are workout based. So if you just hit the down arrow, it'll show you all the other options that come up. I'm going to skip these. If you're a golfer, definitely add these golfing apps or these hiking apps as well. Let's hit continue. Next for auto backup. And we are going to download the Samsung Smart Switch mobile app, which is a free app. What's great about this is it will save all your settings and all the different watch faces that you download. So um, it's all backed up in case you ever lose your watch and you have to get another one. All your settings will be saved and it'll be easy for you to switch to a new watch. Let's hit open. OK, we're going to hit allow. More. Hit allow and basically accept all the conditions and I did it too quickly. And so as you can see, I missed the permission. So we'll have to retry. You're going to go into your settings and give Samsung Smart Switch permission to back up your data. Go to settings again. You're going to give the file manager permission as well. Tap allow for it to run in the background. Hit allow. This is giving the watch permission to see your text messages and your calls because they're going to come through the watch. You'll be able to interact with them through the watch as well. Select what wrist you're going to use the watch on and the position. I normally use my right wrist. Hit next. Hit next. You can create your custom workouts, but that's something to do later. All right, and we're at the very end. Uh, this is the last round of syncing. And then we should get to our 
home screen on the watch where we can then begin to maneuver the screen. All right, there we go. And we are officially set up on the watch. It says you're all set. This is the home screen of the wearable app once your watch is synced with the app. And this is letting us know that um, they are gonna do automatic updates on the watch. Now, it's up to you, personal preference. Um, I like to control when the updates happen, so I'm gonna uncheck this, but you can keep this checked if you want them to just update, push updates whenever they're available. We'll hit continue. And your watch is now officially set up with your Android phone, and you'll be able to use it to you know, change your different settings. I encourage you on the watch to take the tour and that'll show you how to maneuver the watch as well. I'm gonna skip it for now, but there's our home screen. Now, I do wanna recommend this video here. This is my tips and tricks on the Galaxy Watch FE, so check out that video as well. And here I'll have a playlist where I have all my other Galaxy Watch FE videos so you can just learn all that you can do with this watch. So definitely check out those resources. If the video is helpful, make sure you bump that like button down below. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care, and as always, have a good one.